Hello, I'm Charles, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Auto Scaling to improve the fault tolerance of your application running behind a load balancer. Let's get started. First, let's create a launch configuration, then we'll use it to create the auto scaling group. If you don't have an existing launch template, you can use this procedure to create a new one. From your AWS Management Console, select the region where your load balancer is hosted and navigate to the EC2 console. Under the Instances section, choose Launch Templates. Then select Create Launch Template. Enter a name and provide a description for the initial version of the launch template. For application and OS images, choose the ID of the AMI of your instances. You can search through all available AMIs or select an AMI from the recent or quick start list. When you create your auto scaling group, you can assign a public IP address to your instances in your auto scaling group by using subnets that have the public IP addressing attributes activated such as the default subnet and the default VPC. If you don't see the AMI that you need, choose Browse More AMIs to browse the AMI catalog. For instance type, select a hardware configuration for your instances that is compatible with the AMI that you specified. Optionally, for key pair, Choose the key pair to use when connecting to your instances. For network settings, select your preferred subnet. For security group ID, specify a security group for your instances from the same VPC as the load balancer. Under advanced network configuration, you can choose to configure your additional elastic network interfaces. To securely distribute credentials to your instances, for advanced details, IAM instance profile, enter the Amazon resource name of your IAM role. To specify a user data or a configuration script for your instances, paste the script into advanced details user data. Choose create launch template. The second step is to create an auto scaling group using the launch configuration or launch template that you created in the first step. From the launch configuration console, select the new launch configuration that you just created and choose the actions combo button to reveal the available options. From the drop down list, select create auto scaling group. Next, from the choose launch template or configuration screen, give your auto scaling group a name. Select switch to launch template. Next, from the choose instance launch options screen, select the virtual private cloud in subnets where you want your auto scaling instances to be launched. Choose Next. From the Configure Advanced Options screen, to attach the auto scaling group to an existing load balancer, select the option Attach to an existing load balancer. Under Attach to an existing load balancer, select the existing load balancer target group. Under Health Checks, you can optionally choose to activate Elastic Load Balancing Health Checks in addition to the EC2 Health Checks that is always activated. You can also choose to modify the Health Check Grace Period. You can choose to activate Metrics Collection in Amazon CloudWatch. For this video, however, 
I'll leave the additional settings at their default values and select Next. Under Auto Scaling Group Size and Scaling Policies, first define your group size. Here, set your desired minimum and maximum capacities as well as scaling policies. You also have the option to define your scaling policy using metric types. For the purpose of this video demonstration, I'll select the default average CPU utilization and set the target value to 80%. You can activate scaling protection if needed, but I'm leaving the default value for this demonstration. Here, you can define an Amazon Simple Notification Service notification to notify you of launches or termination of EC2 instances in the auto scaling group. For this video, I won't be adding an Amazon SNS notification. You can optionally add tags. However, I'm skipping this for this video. Finally, review your configuration and choose Create Auto Scaling Group. The third step is to verify that your load balancer is attached. To verify that your load balancer is attached, follow these steps. From the Auto Scaling Groups page of the Amazon EC2 console, select the checkbox next to your Auto Scaling Group created earlier. On the Details tab, Load Balancing shows any attached load balancer target groups or classic load balancers. On the Activity tab, in the Activity History, you can verify that your instances launched successfully. The status column shows whether your auto scaling group has successfully launched instances. If your instances fail to launch, you can find troubleshooting ideas for common instance launch issues in the Associated Knowledge Center article. On the Instance Management tab, under Instances, you can verify that your instances are ready to receive traffic. Initially, your instances are in the pending state. After an instance is ready to receive traffic, its state is in service. The health status column shows the results of the Amazon EC2 auto scaling health checks on your instances. Although an instance might be marked as healthy, the load balancer will send traffic only to instances that pass the load balancer health checks. Verify that your instances are registered with the load balancer. Open the target groups page of the EC2 console. Select your target group and then choose the targets tab. If the state of your instances is initial, it's probably because they are still in the process of being registered or they are still undergoing health checks. When the state of your instances is healthy, they are ready for use. And now you know how to use EC2 auto scaling to improve the fault tolerance of your application running behind a load balancer. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.